Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm Nikki, this is Medical Monks, where your care is our highest calling. Recent advancements in wound care dictate that we want to keep our wounds moist. That provides a really good healing environment. But as in all things in life, there's an exception to that rule. And so today, we're actually going to be talking about keeping your wound dry. Why would we want to do that? Well, for one, showers, swimming, those kinds of activities actually do carry waterborne bacteria. So if we're trying to keep healing going, we don't want to disrupt that. What can we do to actually keep our wounds clean and dry? So this is super simple. There's nothing confusing about it, but it's really effective. It's cost efficient and it's actually really easy to use. This is a brand called Shower Shield. Uh, and we also have another variety, Anchor Dry. They're very similar products, but I'd like to demonstrate for you how easy it is to actually use the shower shield. Um, we're gonna start with this size here just because it's easy to, to see. This is a seven by seven. This is something you might use for say, surgery you may have just had on your knee. Uh, you can use it on pick lines. You're gonna use it maybe for a catheter site, anywhere you wanna actually keep water from getting into. The other thing is you're gonna to wanna to keep your wound dressings dry. So we're not just talking about just stitches or that kind of a thing. We're also talking about other dressings that would go underneath this. So let me show you how easy this is to use. If you played with stickers as a kid, you can do this. There's a simple peel and stick on the back. And this is all in one sheet. And the backing is one piece too. And the suggestion from doctors is you're gonna start at the top of your wound roll this down and once this is in place and secure, then you're gonna adjust the bottom and pull that off. To help me out, I'm gonna use Simon. Well, maybe not this Simon. This Simon. So as you can see, Simon has a stoma and we're gonna talk a little bit about that in just a moment, but Simon also has a wound. So one of the things about your shower shield, it's actually gonna save you money because you're not going to have to change that dressing after your activity. And just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna go ahead and use the smaller shield. But what you wanna make sure is that your wound is going to have at least an inch around the outside of it. So we're gonna place that about there. And we're just gonna press and stick that. And we're moving around his crevices. And then you're gonna pull the bottom off. And you're gonna fix it just like that and make sure everything is sealed up. This will last you one shower, obviously. Each one of these has a week's worth, so you're good for the entire week. One of the more surprising things you might find, or I certainly did, is how sticky the adhesion is, but also how gentle our customers tell us it is to take off. So we're not destroying that skin barrier underneath there or any other um, healing happening there. It just peels off. easily. Uh, doctors recommend trimming any hair, like if it's on your chest, um, but also they don't recommend or suggest that you have to necessarily shave. So it's very gentle and efficient when it comes off and you can just toss it. Let's take a look next on how this would work if you had an ostomy. One of the other more common uses for this product is actually for protecting an ostomy bag in the shower or bathing. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about how that would work. Uh, depending on your type of ostomy and how active your stoma is, you may or may not want to keep a bag folded like this or unfolded so you have some room, some play in there. In which case, you're gonna tuck it up just a little bit and you're going to want to use a nine by nine which gives you a nice one inch border around there. So everything is tucked in, everything is protected and sealed up. And when you are done, you're just gonna take that right back off. On with your day. If you have a stoma that is somewhat more predictable in its output and you're fairly confident that you're not going to need all that space, our customers like to tuck and roll the bag up. And you might wanna use a smaller one, a seven by seven. Make sure those ends get actually tucked in there. What this will do is actually save you from just the hassle of having anything wet whenever you're getting dressed again, or even having to just take off a bag and change it if you're not ready to do that, protecting that skin barrier underneath. A couple of other uses for this product include covering feeding tubes, tattoos when they're healing in those first couple of days, and continued monitoring of glucose. Those little monitors now that people can wear. They come in a multitude of sizes to cover all kinds of things from surgical to, as we said, tattoos. Thanks for joining us. 
We'll see you next time.